Why is the NUS hall experience so coveted? I heard it's very robust. It got to be exciting. It's an extended time of fun whereby day in, day out, you're going to just mingle around with people who are not just your peers, your fellow classmates, but they are your buddies, they are your neighbours, in fact. That's an entirely new experience to look forward to. Rest assured, that halls and other residential college is a safe space because that safety net is offered by other residential fellows and hall masters who are there to not micromanage but to make sure that students are having fun within limits and in the process of having fun they actually get to get to learn and grow as a tertiary student. My name is Han Kiet. I am now the Vice Dean of Students uh, at the Office of Student Affairs. How is NUS going to ensure e-orientation is on par with the physical orientation that it's replacing? If I can be very honest here, there will be some aspects that cannot be replicated. We have to reflect what the real goal of orientation is all about. It is to get to know each other, to find that common experience and to help you get excited about the journey that is to come. While that physical interaction may have to wait a while until it is safe to do so, but I think the spirit of getting to know one another can still take place. You have a common experience in the virtual world. And that common experience is that among you, me and all those freshmen who are coming in, we are by far the only batch ever to miss the physical orientation. Your question is, I'm working part-time and will miss orientation. How? Even if you're working part-time, I don't think you will miss the orientation entirely. Because we are running orientation in an e-format right now, it is actually not going to be confined within the four-day, three-night sort of uh, time frame as what we would traditionally do. In fact, as part of thinking out of the box and to recreate a different experience, your seniors who are working together with the respective staff advisor are going to help see how they can fill in this whole period, orientation period, with many snippets of different kind of activities. All it takes is a device with a connection, right? I really want to leave on campus. However, I heard that I need to be very proactive in CCAs to maintain or to extend my stay. Is it worth it? Find a CCA that you're interested in because you will want to continue to stay on to be part of the CCA that brings you so much joy besides your studies. So do it for the right reason and you'll find that in itself be the strongest motivation and that will assure you to do well in that CCA and help you secure a place for the subsequent year. What is the most compelling reason to join a CCA in NUS. I see CCA really as a personal choice. So I, I think uh, when, when you have that choice and flexibility in your hand, uh, you can really explore and do something that you want to learn about, something that you just want to experience and yet not have that obligation to do it for the purpose of uh, you know, academic grades or something like that. And that by the time you graduate, you will have more than one thing that you can take away with you. I heard from some seniors that Cat is everything and I should just focus on that. Really, man? Who did you hear that from? That cap is everything that matters. Seniors told you, but did your lecturers tell you that? No, right? So why do you believe your seniors more than you believe the academic staff? By the time you graduate from this place, you will find that your future employers are going to look at you holistically. Cap score, or rather a good cap score, maybe can only get you as far as to open the doors for your very first interview. Because at that point, they may have nothing else to base on, right? But beyond that very first door that you have to get through, everything else is about you, your performance, your enthusiasm, and that passion that they can see in you, as well as the track record that you have accumulated over the years that is showcased in, in things besides your CAP score. Where should I go to find out more about student support after orientation? You may have these questions now because you haven't gone through the orientation. But I can assure you that at the end of the orientation, you will find out a lot more about the, the support system and all the different touch points that you can get uh, go to to get answers to your specific queries. Not to worry and uh, just take the time and enjoy the entire orientation experience.